In this video, I will be showing you how to set up your Facebook conversion API on your WordPress website. So as we all know, we set up Pixel to run our ad, but for you to have a more better performing ad, you will need to take a step further to set up a conversion API. Hello guys and welcome. My name is Theophilus. If you are seeing me here for the very first time and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to use videos to grow your business, or generally learn ways on how you can start and grow a successful online business and make more money for yourself on this space with the tips and strategies that I will be sharing on this channel. Then start now by subscribing to this channel, click on that bell icon so you don't miss anything. With all that being said guys, let's get started right now. Those who are not really familiar with what a Facebook pixel or conversion API is, just to simplify it, a Facebook pixel is essentially a piece of code you install on your funnel or on your website and this way Facebook will be able to track what is going on on your funnel or on your website. Now due to privacy policy updates in the last few years, being able to to get accurate data from the Facebook pixel became super difficult and this is why Facebook came up with a conversion API and with a conversion API it essentially helps Facebook get some important data that will be needed so let's go ahead and let me show you how you will be able to set up your conversion API so the first thing that we need is obviously going to be a Facebook pixel. If you don't have a Facebook pixel created yet or probably you don't know how to create one for yourself then you need to watch my previous video where I taught how to create and install Facebook pixel. I will leave the video link in the description of this video. You can watch this video first then go back to watch that particular video. So once you are done setting up your pixel you should have an interface that looks looks like this. Now to set up your conversion API, always ensure that the particular pixel that you created earlier is the one selected. As you can see over here, this is the particular pixel that I have created earlier and that is the pixel I am going to select. And once that pixel is selected, what you are going to do next is to come down to where it says add event. And what you are going to do is to click on add event. You go over to where it says add new integration. So go ahead and click on add new integration. So click on conversion API, click on set up, go ahead and click on set up manually, go ahead and click on next then you can now click on continue right now we are going to select event and what this basically means is that you should select the event you are tracking on your pixel that you also want it to reflect with the conversion api now select view content because we want to track those who have visited our sales page if you are running a lead generation campaign and you don't see lead over here then complete registration will be your best option because these people fill the form by entering their phone number and their emails and then land on your thank you page. Go ahead and select complete registration. But if you are going to be selling whereby these people can place an order on your sales page before they land on your thank you page, then purchase would be your best option. So go ahead and also also select pushes. Once that has been done, go ahead and click on continue. We are going to set up our event details parameter for these three events that we have already selected. So let's go ahead and set them up. We are going to set up the event details parameter for complete 
complete registration. As you can see, complete registration is the one that is being selected right now. So what we are going to do in order for us to set it up the right way, we are going to use a guide by following the best practices. And for us to follow the best practices, I will come over to where it says best practices. I will click on best practices and I will see the things I will need to select right over here. So it says that event ID is not selected. So I will go ahead and select event ID. And as you can see, if I click again, because I have already selected the phone number and the email and the IP address when I was setting up my pixel before, that was why it has already selected those parameters for me. But for you, if you have not yet selected these parameters, after selecting your event ID, what you need to do is to just scroll down. And once you scroll down, you are going to see where you can just select your phone number, you select the email, and you can now go ahead and select the IP address. As you can see, I have already toggled on all of those parameters. So right now, we are done setting up the complete registration event details parameter. We are going to click on pushes, and we are going to do the same thing we did. I'll come over to best practices. I'll click on best practices. And as you can see also, my event ID is not selected, but every other parameters has been selected right from the same day I set up my pixel. But for you that you are starting up afresh, you may not see other parameters that have been toggled on. So all you need to do is to come over to this list and you turn on your event ID. And as you can see, the moment I turn on my event ID, the best practices has now been marked, meaning that we are good to go. Right now, I'll go over to where it says view content. And when I click on view content, there is one or two steps that we need to take over here in order for us to mark as complete. So I'm going to go over to where it says event ID and I will turn it off. I will come over to best practices again and I'm going to toggle on phone number and email. So I will scroll down to where I can select phone number. Look at it here. I'll select the phone number. Then I'll come over here and select email. You can see that best practices has now been marked as complete. Once you are done, go ahead and click on continue. This is continue over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Also go ahead and click on confirm setup. Then you can click on confirm. Then you come down here and click on finish. Before we proceed, if you are already getting value, kindly go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit on the like button and drop a comment for me in the comment section. I will really appreciate that. So right now we are going to generate our access token. For us to get our access token, I'll come over to where it says setting. I'll click on settings and when I scroll down, there is a particular place that says generate access token. So I'm going to click on generate access token. And when I click on generate access token, I will be able to copy the access token that has been generated. So all I need to do right now is to click on it to copy. I will click on this access token and I have copied the access token. So what I need to do right now is to head over to my WordPress. And this is the back end of my WordPress. And this is where I am going to paste the access token that I have generated and I have already copied. So for me to paste it, I will come over to where it says pixel your site and you need to install this plugin. And once you are done installing this plugin, you come over to pixel your site, you come over to dashboard, you click on dashboard. And once you click on dashboard, all you need to do right now is to scroll down. And when you scroll down, there is a particular place that says your meta pixel, formerly Facebook pixel. This is what I'm talking about. This particular one this Facebook that you are seeing here you click on click for settings and once you click on it you scroll down again to where it says API token and once you are here click on it then you now go ahead and paste the API there you need to go ahead and get your test event code then come over to this place and paste your test event code and for me to do that I'll go over to my Facebook I'll come over to test event I'll click on test event and when I click on test event, I will come over to this place, this particular one over here. I will 
will click on this drop down icon and once i click on the drop down icon you can see that there is a particular test event that is here and i'm going to click on this copy and when i click on copy i have already copied the test event so i'll go over to PDL your site again i'll come over to the code section and i will now paste the test event code over here and as you can see over here this is another place where you can also verify your domain you can also verify your domain when you come here you can just come over to this place all you need to do is to copy and paste your meta tag over here and when you are done your domain will be verified so right now that we have paste our test event code all we need to do right now is to scroll up and once we scroll up we are going to enable conversion api then we are also going to enable advanced machine and once that is done we will scroll down 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 to the last button and once we are here we'll click on pave settings right now it has been saved and once that is done i will go back to my event manager and once i am here what i am going to do basically is to come over to setting i will click on settings and once i click on settings i will scroll down to where it says open event setup to so all i need to do is to click on open event setup to and once that is done i will go over to my wordpress dashboard and once i am here i will go over to pages i'll go over to all pages because i want to track a particular corner so i will scroll down to where i have all pages and this is the particular one i am going to track right now so all i need to do is to come over to where it says view and i'll right click on it and open on another new tab and once that is done i will wait for it to load up as you can see it has completely loaded and what i need to do right now is to come over to this place and kindly copy my url then i'll go over to my event manager then i'll paste the url over here and then i can now go ahead and click on open website and once i click on open website it's going to open my website and alongside there is still another thing that has been opened over here which is our meta event setup too and this is where i I am going to track my button as you can see over here i have already tracked a button and i have tracked it as lead but right now let me go ahead and delete it so that i can do it afresh for you to see how you can track your button on your funnel right now this is how you can track your button for you to track your button you come over to this particular place that says track new button and what you are going to do is to click on track new button and once you are done that you scroll down to where you have your button on this page and once you scroll down to where you have your button you just go ahead and click on that button and once you click on that button you come over to where we have this drop down icon you click on the drop down button then you can now come to this place and select lead especially for those of you that want to run lead generation campaign this is the right option you are going to select but if you are going to be doing anything that has to do with selling then purchase is the right option for you i am doing something that is related to lead generation i'm going to go ahead and select lead and then i'm going to click on don't include value because there is no any value that i want to track on this particular funnel so i'll go ahead and click on don't include value then i'll come down here and click on confirm then once that is done then i can now come here and click on finish setup then i can now come over to this place and click on finish then i'll say yes then i can now say submit right now you can now go ahead and click on done let us go back to our test event and this is test event over here and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on test event and once i click on test event i'll come over to this second one that says confirm that your website events are set up correctly so i will click on this drop down button so that it can bring up other options for me then i can now go ahead and click on open website and once i do that my website is going to load up and once it's load up for us to know that this is already working let us go back to my event manager and as you can see over here it has recorded it as page view for us to confirm that this has already been set up properly and for us to confirm that our conversion api 
has already been set up all i need to do right now is to go over to my arts manager and let me do as if i want to set up an art and right now i have selected website and if i should scroll down to the pixel area and i click on this drop down button this is my pizza over here you can see that there is conversion api that has already been set up and with this tool that i have already i will be able to have a better and more performing ad because i already have a pixel and i've already set up my conversion api so my ad will now fire properly so in this video you have learned how to set up your facebook conversion api on your wordpress website if you have any question let me know in the comment section if there is any specific topic you want me to cover in my subsequent video let me know in the comment section as well if you want to be seeing videos on how to grow your youtube channel how to use videos to grow your business or generally learn ways on how to start and grow a successful online business and make more money for yourself on this space with the tips and strategy that i am going to be sharing with you on this channel then start now by subscribing to this channel click on that bell icon right now so that you don't miss anything watch the video showing on your screen right now so that you can learn how to create and install a new facebook pixel in 2024 thanks for watching play big keep winning and don't forget that theophilus just loves you guys i will catch you guys in the next one